Well, it's Monday, beautiful day. Not going to be 50, but in the high 40s. We're going spinning somewhere, probably Button Beach. Right now, I'm going to a pet store to get some dog food for this fine gentleman right here. And I got to drop off these three knives that I did the other day. Then I'm headed to the beach. I was supposed to go to the post office and mail the bubble blade, but I left it home. I'll do that tomorrow. I think my buddy's hunting in New Mexico anyway now instead of at home. So he don't need it. He's not fishing. He's hunting creatures. Okay, I see a little bit somewhere. I got cabin fever. I've been in for three days. God. Mmm. <laughs> we got a uh, 200 and let's see what we got. 223,244 miles. You know he put a star on it two weeks ago. I think it's going to need a water pump pretty quick. I don't see any water dripping out of it, but I hear a funny rattling like the parents are getting ready to go out in the water pump. But it could be just be me, I don't know. I don't see any sign of any leakage or anything, but just hear a strange rattling noise sometimes. Sometimes I don't hear it. Stand by. Well, as I was coming back from dropping off the knives, I ran across the Ron. Ron the shoe digger. You know the guy who digs with his shoe? Well he was digging, but not with his shoe today. He's He's land digging. So I told him I'd go home and get my detector and come back and give him a hand. He's signing some silver coins. So I'm not going to the button patch, I'm going to the dirt. I just put my uh, knee pads on. I got 10 minutes to go. Stand by for some dirt. It's a beautiful day. I like it. Well, I dug a piece of metal and a pull tab. First two targets. Well, the first coins are Zinka Lincoln. Ryan some, dug some kind of big brass thing. Might be part of a chimney flue opener or something. Oh, yeah. It's long, about two and a half foot long. What are you reckon that brass piece for? Worth? I don't know, but it's brass. It's big. <laughs> Maybe use that to smack it. Yeah. Well, we got a buffalo. Not too bad a shape. I ain't gonna mess with it too much until I get home. Cool. Buffalo. A baby spoon, I think. Ron found some kind of big thing. <laughs> Brass, it looks like. Looks like it was screwed down right there. That's some kind of cool design on it. Got three bolt holes on the back. Not bolt holes, but screw holes. Threaded, what's the name? No telling what this is, but it's cool. <laughs> I just found it. Oh. This big brass shell Ron found. <laughs> found it right here too. Look at the size of that thing. That's the second one I found out here. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. God damn, I know that to sound good. Well, as I head home today, I just got a call from a guy bringing me some knives. Uh, I don't know how many or what kind, but he's going to meet me in my house at 4.30, about 40 minutes. Let's we'll see what they look like. We might have action tomorrow. The shoe guy, he told me it's supposed to rain tomorrow. 
But when I looked at the five day forecast, I didn't see any rain until Saturday. We'll have to see how it goes tonight and tomorrow before we make our mind up. The chain man, he was honeydewing all day today, but he said he's ready to go tomorrow. So we might even come back to the dirt and take a spin. That all depends. We'll have to see how the weather shapes up. Stand by. Well, the guy just dropped off the knives. I cleaned up the spoon a little bit. It says Onada, and I can't make out the word next to Onada. LTD, LID, I don't know. Maybe when I get inside, I'll clean it up some more. No date on the buffalo. But it's in good shape, other than I can't get the date off of it. I was hoping to. The guy brought the knives, but he's got an old U.S. Army knife. This is a USN Mark I. You can see it's in bad shape. Somewhat. This one's the same way. Been in a case a long time, I think. And then a SOG. It's not too bad a shape. It's got that coating on it. I can't, I don't forget what they call it. It says, it's, uh, it just says SOG. There's some kind of something right there. Something from Japan. Oh, Sichi. And then I got these from my buddy Mark Tomzak. On my truck. I like them. Thank you, buddy. Roundup Rancho Max from the dirt. Mmm. The spoon is cool and the buffalo nickel. Other than that, I got a lot of exercise. And after the first hour and a half, I was limited to cherry picking. Nickel sounds, dime sounds, quarter sounds. Anything in between, I didn't dig. I don't know about tomorrow. Like I told you, we have to play it by ear.